grace and peace of our coming Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, parishioners of St. Anne's Church, I bring you good news. And the good news is that the relevant government authorities have approved our application to increase our congregational worship size from the current 100 people to 250 yesterday evening. More importantly, what does it mean in the immediate time to come? It means that now we can increase our capacity for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day Masses as well as New Year Eve Mass. Currently, we have nine Christmas Day Masses on Christmas Eve at 6 p.m., 8 p.m., 10 p.m. and 12 midnight. On Christmas Day itself, we will have at 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and a Mandarin Mass at 1.30 with the rest being in English. I know that in these nine Masses, only 900 people could have gotten a place for it. But now, with this increase, it means a total of 2,250 parishioners can come on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve Masses. And also, instead of 100 on New Year's Eve, it will be 250 on New Year's Eve as well. We will be opening up for booking for through Mass system, Mass attendance registration system, on Monday, 21st December, at 9 a.m. for all Christmas Eve and Christmas Day Masses. What does this mean for some of us then? It means that for those who failed to get a booking, now there's another opportunity to obtain a seat. It also means that for those who perhaps may not be aware of, have booked at time of Masses which may not be possible for them to come, or because of language, for example, those who may have inevitably booked Mandarin Mass when they may not understand the language, you can try for another Mass at the rest of the timings. So I'm seeking your cooperation that if you have booked such Masses, such as Mandarin Mass, and you don't feel comfortable with it because of the language differences, please do cancel your booking first before you attempt to do the booking on Monday, 21st December. Likewise, I also suggest that you may wish to upload, sorry, I mean to reload your, the page on mycatholic.sg or to update the app if you are using your mobile phone. As part of the regulatory requirement of the government agencies as we implement this system, is that all parishioners are expected to use Trace Together app or bring along their Trace Together token. While during this season up to New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, we may give sparingly some leeway. We are still urging all parishioners to cooperate with us, to download the Trace Together app or to bring along their Trace Together token and gain entry into the church grounds itself. So I seek your cooperation and your understanding in this. As this is also the first time that the parish is going at 250, there may be some slowness in the way we bring you into the church. And I ask you to bear with the volunteers and the safety ambassadors as this is being carried out. Because your safety is our utmost concern and priority because when we worship, we need to worship not just in spirit and in truth, but also in comfort. So I seek your understanding in coming at about approximately 20 minutes before Mass and there also may be staggered departure or dismissal after Mass. Likewise, Please do not linger in the church after the end of the Mass because we need to disinfect the church and we need to prep the church grounds for the next group of people who are coming in for their Masses. So once again, 
I'd like to invite all those who did a previous booking and would like to change or cancel it in order to select a more appropriate ones. Please do do so as soon as possible. The new booking will start on Monday, 21st December at 9am. And I would seriously suggest that you do go in at 9am. So thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, and I look forward to seeing you at Christmas Day. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever.